Welcome back to Let's Play Shadow Memories with a bit of delay. I might as well record from this point because I just remember it. The Margaret. Yes, I forgot all about that. And I would have completely forgot all about it if not for the fact that I didn't remember it on the spot right there. I was just going to play all the way up till the uh, bit where you get to the square. So that we can just get on with getting ending A, but um, I remembered this to the Margaret thing. Yes. Might as well, you know, get it, give it to Margaret in the past before it initiates the plot point. I mean, really, how are there any shops open on a day like this? So much snow. Can't see anything. Ah, wrong way. It's the antique shop, isn't it? Yep. Give me the cake, bitch! How is it? Have one of our new samples on that plate. It's called Margaret. It's a sweet from our city's past. She says that, like, in a way, like, that she's already talked to him, but she hasn't. And she does in the future, sort of. She doesn't really look any older, though, does she? Anyways, uh, off wait, no, not off screening because I gotta give that to Margaret, so yeah, that's something off the screen. I wonder if I'll be able to get ending A and the extra thing all in one recording here, because that will be completing the LP then, really, wouldn't it? Yes. That's the point that we get all the endings and all there is to do. Except again, 100% on every chapter because that's a pain in the ass. But you get the idea. Let's go this way so I can pick up another NG unit. I have a chocolate cake for you! Not the stone, the stone is finally in my hands. Was I supposed to give it to the doctor? Chocolate, any girl who will like it, I like sweets too. He doesn't come in any different one yet. Wow! You bought me more! Thank you! Hmm, I wonder if I can make something like this. Well, you technically do, because that's how the future ends up going out. What is it? Change is the future, by, but they're given the chocolates. Right, so we go back to the usual shit. I'll just speed up again. <laughs> yeah. I need more energy units. Wait, wrong way. There's one corner somewhere. Where, uh, uh, this way. Energy units. I need you. Wait, there on the bench. Ten days later, experiment gone wrong. Yeah. I wonder how my yawn will sound sped up, honestly. Why do we always have to freaking be in the square, man? I think it teleports somewhere more, you know, closer to where we need to go. I mean, it is technically, but, you know, I teleported just down the street. Well, you technically did that as well, really, because the square is just down the street, but you get the idea. 
Hugo, is anybody there? Man, I sound like that freaking, well, it's sped up, so I don't know if you can tell. Sound like that freaking guy who's like, Whoa, oh man, let's take the ambulance so long. Uh, the time in which I originally exist. Like, really? Well, I might as well, you know, do it in normal speed now, because really, what what's the point of speed now? We're gonna be skipping for the students anyway, man. Spot on impression right there. I've never seen ending A, so I only have a general idea of how ending A plays out, but I've not actually seen it. Which is why I've never seen in the extra mode that's unlocked when you get all the endings. I don't know why I ever got around to getting ending A, I mean it's not really that difficult to do. Wait. Well technically I don't really need all that many energy units. Well, I can pick up that one. Just had a chocolate cake and now she's suddenly just like, here goes taking her to the future and is all like, I'm gonna hold you as a hostage, just hope, hope you don't mind. Hugo! 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 Okay, here's what we're apparently supposed to do this. We're supposed to get to Mungloos like you want, but we're not supposed to go to the square straight away. No, I might as well talk to you again, because why not? Didn't I tell you to get a- Yeah, 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 I felt like doing that just for the hell of it. But we don't go straight to the square after getting Mungloos. We go to the fortune teller. You guys are in this order, apparently. Which kind of makes sense, I guess. Because uh, I imagine the fortune teller reacts, reacts to Mungulus in some way. Or rather, the knowledge that I get from the Mungulus, at least, I don't know. As I said, I've never got this ending. But it'd make more sense in that order than the other, really, wouldn't it? I wonder if it, if, like, it just goes to the default with the Mungulus if you visit the fortune teller first. I have no idea. I can't be asked to test it. Okay, I remember it was around here somewhere, wasn't it? It was definitely south. Actually, it makes sense, because that is where the crime scene was, wasn't it? Also, it still doesn't explain the gunshot. I mean, did Homunculus fire at her or something? I have no idea. I mean, if holding a baby is enough to exhaust him, I mean, I imagine firing a gun would be even more exhausting for him. What am I doing, man? I'm... Oh, I thought it was marking something down the map. I was like, what's that? Nope. I'm on the wrong side of town. How'd we get here in the first place? Twists. Just like, hey, what, what, what happens there? It's just like, well, the previous parts where we interact with, I'm not freaking on screen there all over again. It's a long scene. It's a nice scene, and all, but it's freaking long. I'm on screen, the fortune teller, because I imagine the scene's gonna play out differently. Now we have new knowledge that one, uh. Dana from the current time is actually from the past originally, and I let the Mungler switch that with Eckerd's daughter, which is Margaret. 
Humongous is a bit of an asshole. Uh, okay, we're on the right side of town. Yeah. Let's pick this up for no particular reason. Welcome. What? Uh. Yes. Why is it skippable? Who are you? That indicates I've Would seen this scene. Would you really like to know? If you really don't mind telling me. Could it be that you are here because you have some idea of what that answer will be? I met you once. Long, long ago. I could not have imagined then that we would meet again under such circumstances. I'd listen to you go talking, of course, but how could I have believed these wild fantasies about time travel? Does this seem any different? Until I became what I was and saw you again. Yes. Long ago, I was called Helena. Sorry, I Helena, but I'm just going to skip the scene because it doesn't seem to be played out any differently. When we first met, I couldn't even raise myself it's from skippable, the bed. It's skippable, so skip. It means that we've already seen it before. And I've never got ending A, so I imagine it probably didn't have any different dialogue. Same old, he tried to raise her from the dead and it all went to shit. Has been wandering this earth through... Blah, blah, blah. See the previous part for the actual conversation there, the cutscene and all that. Okay, now we're on a different Who's cutscene. Who's there? No need to be surprised. You are a nervous one, aren't you, Ike? What did you want with this ruin? Four hundred years ago, it was a laboratory. Now, it's just a mess. You didn't see anything? You know, in here? Mm -hmm. Oh, you saw the spirit. So, you can see it, can't you? I can see the living, and I can see the souls of the dead. But I can't see the thing that lives here. It gives me the creeps, really. I can sense something. But that's it. Hey, can you call up spirits? Excuse me? Well, for example, if Dr. Wagner could have a talk with Hugo right now, and Hugo understands what his father was really trying to do, well, maybe Hugo would change his mind about all this. What do you think? Well, well. I hadn't thought of that. Dr. Wagner, of course. Nothing could be simpler. Really? Really. Wait a moment, and I'll fetch Dr. Wagner. Interesting. Come over here. Yeah, it was not sound effect, the same sound effect in the intro. It's about ready. What the hell is going on? <laughs> vibration did not knock the control off the bed. Well, this kind of contradicts ending D, though, doesn't it? Again, they all feel ambiguous. Wagner? Aren't you a 
Wasn't it you who brought me the Philosopher's Stone? That's right. I'm Ike. Doctor, I have a favor I need to ask you. I don't know how to say this, but... Well, your son, Hugo, is trying to kill me. He thinks that what happened to you and his whole family was Homunculus's fault. And that Homunculus would never have been created if I hadn't helped you. He told me this himself. He also said that he was going to use the Philosopher's Stone to bring his mother back to life. Good Lord. Where is Hugo right now? He's right over there. Why is he it's not going to be like? Hundred years from your time. Like I, I, I must see him. I, I must speak with Hugo. He seems unfazed by he all needs this. Needs to know the truth. The book spots. I see now that this is why you brought me here. So you will speak to Hugo? Yes, it is my duty. Will you take me to him? Gladly. Did you bring him? Hugo! Who's there? Ike, please stay here. I will handle this. Of course. Be careful. Did you bring homunculus? Goodbye, Ike. Hugo. Father? Father? Father, you're alive. How did you get here? Hugo, what do you think you are doing? Did your mother and I give you life so that you could take another's? N no, that's not it. There's a reason. Then stop your attempts on Ike's life. Do you understand? If you do that, I will tell you all about my research. Okay. I understand. That's my boy. Come with me. Okay. Let us go. Father? Where are you going? Dr. Wagner! That isn't... Was it all a trick by him on us again? What was that? And where did they go? Mm -hmm. How's that? Good? What's going on? Where did you take them? Makes sense then, I guess. I know. Why not? Dr. Wagner. Oh, that wasn't Dr. Wagner. That's why he was unfazed. So it wasn't him. So oh. I can't very well call up his spirit, can I? Oh. That was a fake. A puppet that does exactly what I tell it to do. Not bad, eh? You got certain of that part. Oh my god. This makes all the endings ambiguous still, then. You son of a bitch! Well, that makes all the endings still ambiguous. Because <laughs> if that wasn't Dr. Wagner, then I could still potentially, you know, end up being... I mean, that's a spoiler, but we did that in a while back, ending D. I mean, what the fuck? The plot just keeps throwing twist after twist after twist. Epilogue. Looks like it's over, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Good job, Ike. 
I'm like, I was trying to change my destiny. The same bloody thing. Mm -hmm. And you did. All this was for you? You used me to ensure you would exist, that no one would rewrite the script. Now, let's not have all this unpleasant talk about using. I mean, who cares, really? <laughs> yes. Yes, you managed to preserve my destiny. If you had been killed, I would never have been born. Immortality has its perks, but you have to be given life first. I see. So I was just being used. All your talk about an ancestor, was that just to get me to go back to that time? Well, well how should I know? Well, by the way, I need the digipad back. So I was just going to play out differently then. Here. It's yours. Oh. What? Oh? Well, why don't you take her back to her own time? Huh? Who? It's the same. Me? Margaret, what do you want to do? Are you going back home or staying in this time? This will be where it yet differs. I... I'll stay here. I want to stay in this time and make a life here. Are you sure? I mean... You know that... You know my father's not coming back, right? That's what I read in a book. So if we're to trust that... Then I won't go back. It's too lonely by myself. And besides... I feel good here. Like I belong. Because she was born it's in that time. It's a strange generation. thing to feel. Well. But I think I should go with it. 20 years previous. What? You know, uh, Walker didn't mention a choice. I guess this must be like an alternative way again to ending B, I imagine. But this is for ending A, I guess. Okay, we'll play it your way. Here, you can have it back. I don't need it anymore. Yes, hand it over. Oh! What? Fragile. Oh no. That's all it took. Damn, you're fragile, Amongulus. What happened? I think it was destiny. All you have to do is drop it. Well, he, didn't he drop it one time though? How did it work that time? His life would end this day. Well, how come he didn't die all the other times, Ike? It's timelines for you, it's weird. Like in one timeline he survives, another timeline he survives, another timeline he survives, this timeline he dies. Oh wait, maybe that's... Oh... I think I get it. Wait, what? What? Soon afterwards, Margaret was adopted by the Eckerts. Is that her? You could say that she finally came home. Why'd you cut her hair for? She looks completely different like that. It's such a tall tree. Was it here huh? before? Did no, he go back to change I think that? this is where he... Hmm. Did the stone do this? What the fuck? Is the tree here because the Philosopher's Stone gave up its energy? So we're very everything back to normal? Hey. What is this?
I guess the Mongols never really died, he just kind of got resealed back into that. I was thinking with that goo stuff, it looked like it could just like turn into the uh, Philosopher's Stone or something, and it did technically by the looks of it. What an interesting ending. I was not expecting <laughs> uh, Margareta working changer hairstyle and everything else so much though. So, like, the Caribbean there and all that, it's kind of like, from what I get that, um, because of the among us being resealed, everything went back to normal, like, maybe, uh, the, uh, real Dana is Margaret, she comes back to the present time where she belongs, and the other Dana, which was actually the real Margaret, went back to the past, and something, I don't know. Was she on Hugo's sister or what? I don't know. Speaking of which, what happened to uh, Hugo? I mean, if that whole thing reverts everything, does it also revert Hugo to when he's like back in the past again? It's really quite confusing. That and Margaret will seem kind of unfazed by all of that. So it's Man, what a game. What an ending. How random. There's still more to do in this game. There's like an extra mode that supposedly gets unlocked after this. Character expressions! It's a long credit sequence. But there's apparently an extra mode that's kind of brief. I think it's brief anyway, at least I hope so. Otherwise, it'll end up taking up more and more time. I mean, I want to wrap this LP up so I can get back to recording for Parasite Eve 2, because I've only recorded nine parts so far. I've been trying to, like, get the shorter LPs out of the way first, which was Hell Knight and this one, because they're both short games for the most part, you know? Like, I completed Hell's Night quite a while back now. But this one was still ongoing. I wonder how long Parasite Eve 2 will be. It'll probably be, like, ongoing even after October, I imagine, because it's an RPG, so it's probably going to be quite lengthy. Long credit sequence. Yeah, you know what? While that's going on, I'm gonna look at the walkthrough and see. Like, uh, you wouldn't really need to do the prologue or whatever on the extra mode, so it shouldn't take too long. But there are two endings. Also, I noticed some of this music feels like a remix of another. The, uh, Music that plays in the uh, uh, main menu. Also, was the credits music different? I don't know. A ending, ending, A. She reminds me of someone. She also kind of looked like, and so my strange experience has come to an end. That woman that's at the uh, town center. Sort of, but she reminds me of someone else. I can't quite think, though. Another video game character, I don't know. Interesting, though. 
Is it now available? Menu music's changed. Oh, we got this here, but uh, how do we get the extra bonus? I think we just wait for it to uh, go to the uh, intro, and then it's. I, I have no idea how extra mode works. It's the same thing, but. Uh, Music's played a bit differently. How weird. Well, come on, intro. Still haven't unlocked that, what's up with that? What, epilogue 100 cents? I'm confused, walk through, how do I get to extra mode? Missing, blah 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 uh, Okay, we just start a new game essentially. The scene looks like a place that's the same. Oh, this this is different. What the? Oh, what's going on? What on earth could have happened? <laughs> Am I dead? Am I dead again? Bingo. Oh, humongous. I'm flattered that you know me, but how does it feel to be dead? I... What? Are you making fun of me? Romulus kind of indicated that he doesn't know I. I beg your pardon if I've offended you. Or rather, you are strongly fated. Ah, uh, you see, doesn't realize, you didn't realize that I knew him. But if you have the will to somehow reverse that fate by yourself, I can lend you some measure of strength. How about it? Will you deal with me? Sure, you're on. Wait, you know, actually... Well, I do like a man who jumps at an opportunity. But I want you to understand something, Ike. The destiny that awaits you is very potent. What I mean is, just because you manage to avoid death once, doesn't mean you've escaped the threat. Unless you tear out its very roots, destiny can't be cheated. Got it. The hard part starts after you come back to life. Mm-hmm. You're right. But that's also where your own strengths come into play. Are you ready? I'm going to give you some of my time-shifting powers, Ike. Yo, wouldn't this technically make it impossible without using a different memory card or, use it well. or starting without the memory card? Wouldn't it technically be impossible to actually get the normal endings now because of extra mode? I have no idea.
Probably why the walkthrough keeps kept mentioning about saving different files and all that. Some relevance to you as its user. As soon as it begins to respond, it's usable, and you can select the touchpad pad by pushing on the square button. After that, you specify the destination time and enter the X button. Blah blah blah. Whatever. You can't solve. So it's just the same for that bit. Sir, please wake up. Are you all right? Do you feel sick or something? Sir? Oh, I see. Walkthrough points out that if you say, am I dead and who's there, or whatever, or am I dead, oh, the mongoose, or whatever, depending on the choice you make, you can just go to the normal game without going into the extra bits. Extra huh? mode thing. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. I fell asleep. I guess that makes sense, sort of. <laughs> Dana. <laughs> Dana, that will do. Okay. I, uh, I'll, I'll just leave what I owe for the coffee here. Hmm, the stone's not here. Not in this time, anyway. Well, maybe I'll see it later. Oh. Interesting. Hmm, two o'clock. Two o'clock. Go to the fortune teller. Which is actually, uh, oh. where, where is she? Should be around here somewhere, right? Fortune's told. Oh, let's hear it then. been here a bunch of times, right? <laughs> no, but I suppose you could have been. Perhaps in another place. I am as yet unaware of sitting here as I am. I will tell your fortune at no cost. Yeah, about that. Can I ask you something? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to find a red stone soon. It's probably the Philosopher's Stone. That thing! <laughs> if this I is interesting. It, then Homunculus... No, don't utter the name of that cursed abomination. He shall not be named. If he might be Must not be named. All right. I'll make up my own mind about what to do with the stone. How's that sound? 
It is in your hands. I will lay my hopes on the future of your design. Fascinating. What's to do now? Here you walk through. Okay, the walk through makes no sense here. It says, but don't go to the bar yet, and then go to the bar. It's like, what? What? This this freaking timeline is all kinds of screwed up. But the square up. does get a lot of performers, you know, street performers. They get a pretty good crowd going. It's kind of nice. It's kind of weird. What do you want? Yes. I hate to be rude, but. I don't have time for chit chat. Life is so boring, isn't it? Anything I can do for you? Hey, that's me. <laughs> it's like, hi, me. How you doing, me? Sup me. Nothing new. Um. I told you, I'm not a performer. If you want the real thing, you're in the right place, though. What do I do? Walk through was kind of not very specific. Said go to the barn, then not to go to the barn, then go. Oh. Wait, there's only the two of them there now. Cool! Look at that thing's bird! Like, whoa, man, let me check something. Look at that. <laughs> Jeez, I don't think anybody can make it out of that mess. So we just talk to Hugo. <laughs> what? They're suddenly there? Is in there. Please help him. Help, please. Hey, Hugh. Uh, I mean. It's <laughs> like I know it's you, Hugo. <laughs> I hear the fly is too great, it's too dangerous. Sorry, kid. I've got to go to the square. This is actually how you uh, get the egg thing early on as well. But we're doing it on the alternative chapter so we'll get something different. Is he going to comment on it? Even I can do that. Wait, no, don't! <laughs> Wonder if it's different. And what the letter says, I mean. <laughs> this is so weird. The red stone is the Philosopher's Stone, and the source of Homunculus's life. It's also the main element in the elixir of life, which is supposed to cure all diseases. So this... That was a lot more right than the original, isn't it? Yeah, and these recordings drag on, man. <laughs> got egg ornaments. Okay, I think it's said that we gotta go to the uh, cafe now. Really we 
hear it. I can't see. Oh wait, we're going past it. Is Dana, I mean that waitress who was just here, around? Oh, oh, so you found out her name already, did you, sir? You'd better get in line. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Dana's in the back. She was just about to go catch up with a customer who left something here. That's me. I, I forgot them here. Oh, I see. Dana? I'm just leaving now. Oh, it's you. You forgot these. This lighter and the pretty stone, they're yours, right? Right. Oh, good. I was just about to go chasing after you. Thanks for coming back. You're in the wrong time period, though, Dana. So surreal. Can we go back in? Nope. And now we go to the uh, bar. Or we could actually. Can we do that? Not right yet. Not currently. Are you gonna help my grandpa? <laughs> okay, I'll give it a shot, kid. 